two wood storks. Alright guys, this is Karen Martz. I'm in the middle of the Bluebird project. I, I, I was probably muttering to myself. Well, what it is, I was trying to determine if the first bird was a an aigrette, but they're, they're both wood storks. Now, wood storks, when they're younger, they do have feathers. Oh, there is a great aigrette. Alright, I wasn't dreaming. Um, so the young ones will have some feathers on top of the head. This may be a younger one. And you don't see wood storks too often. I mean, at least I don't. Oh yeah, he's a young one. Wow. Very cool. Okay, very interesting. He cannot be that old. And then the parent in the background. So as adults, they don't have um, feathers on the top of the head. The first time you see one, you might be shocked. But they really are gorgeous birds, and they have like a five-foot wingspan. Very beautiful. Now, guys, last week, I watched a raccoon swim across this little channel. Had it, thought I had it on video, but I never pressed the button correctly. Now, what's, what's bizarre is look at the parent has its wings open toward the baby. Look at this. Oh, my God. Well, that is really bizarre. Huh. Okay, guys. I don't know if it's a thing to get some sunshine. Uh, they don't need to dry their wings. Wow. He's doing like a 360. Okay, very fascinating. Um, okay, the great aigrette. Now, listen, it could also be a threat move. You know, warning that great aigrette to get the heck out of there. Because they're after the fish that are in here. All right, well, very interesting. Signing off live by E10, where I've got some bluebird eggs. Have a great day.